assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today i'm on this construction site and i will guide you uh, about uh, uh, steel reinforcement details especially for rcc columns as you can see these are rcc columns and plinth level for this construction for this project uh, and also uh, its footing design uh, in previous video i have discussed its steel reinforcement details for its footing guys you can see this is combined footing you can see we have more than two columns in one series guys you can see this is called combined footing okay so let's get start from uh, reinforcement details especially for column guys you can see here we have 12 piece of steel bars 12 1 2 3 4 okay then 5 6 7 8 then 9 10 and this side 11 12 which dia is 20 millimeter this is 20 millimeter dia of steel bar guys you can see and this column is being designed for four story building you can see guys it can support the structure load for the four story now guys you can see this is the lateral tie okay and uh, dia of the lateral tie uh, tie is uh, eight millimeter you can see guys with the spacing of here you cannot see uh, the other ties that's why because uh, this is uh, under construction so at the bottom the the tie spacing should be three inches okay but after l by three distance it should be maximum from three it means it should be about five to five to six uh, inches okay are uh, about 15 centimeter okay and at the bottom it should be about eight centimeter the spacing of lateral tie okay so guys you can see this is the next column same uh, reinforcement details for next column as you can see for all columns uh, we have eight piece of steel bars now guys come to its plinth level guys uh, here uh, this is the project and here you can see that one is the road level as you can see this is the road level okay so that one this is the road level so guys this is the plinth level okay so the plinth level uh, is here about uh, 125 uh, 125 centimeter plinth level is 125 centimeters so this is the uh, finished plinth level here okay so look at here guys uh, that is the ground level that one okay so it will become like this as you can see it is the road level okay and here uh, guys uh, the dbc thickness should be minimum two inches okay but as you can see here they just uh, uh, fill the gaps okay but uh, it should be provided but maybe it is un under construction so guys you can see this is the plinth level as you can see guys used combined footing as you can see here this is finished plinth level okay as you can see from any angle you can see this okay and yes guys uh, for combined footing i've already discussed its steel reinforcement details and the link is in the description of this video so go and watch the video for the combined footing steel reinforcement details also you can watch okay that video as you can see guys and uh, this is under construction as you can see they will get start from here okay as you can see bricks are available on the side so as you can see guys you can see its depth okay the depth is 16 centimeter look at here this is guys 16 centimeter this is the depth of the footing okay on the ground level as you can see okay 
So after plinth level, when they get start uh, brick masonry on the DPC, okay, so they will provide here the uh, shuttering for this uh, to fill these columns from M20 uh, M20 grade concrete. Maybe they will use M15, but uh, the column and the slab uh, grade of concrete should not be less than M20, as I told you in many videos. Now, guys. Uh, um, I will also discuss um, for those bricks you can see is this first class brick or second class guys these are bricks okay but uh, it seem like second class brick not first class because uh, the size should be same for all bricks but uh, here uh, you can see guys uh, its level and size is not equal as you can see guys okay okay so uh, for check the quality of brick uh, mm, the water uh, test should be uh, done on the site also to check its uh, <coughs> quality also check the brick as you can see guys here from the one meter you will fold the brick then you can see it can brick or not as you can see as I told you this is second class brick look at here so the first class brick should not be brick like this so this is second or third class but this is just for the plinth level okay in the foundation so uh, maybe it can absorb more amount of water but it should not be uh, the first class brick should not be absorb 15 percent water from its weight you can see guys also its color is not uh, seem like first class okay as you can see guys these are bricks okay also look at here okay so already cracks are available here also look at here therefore so as you can see guys this is the road level guys this is road level okay and this is site <coughs> as you can see that is plant level for this construction so guys uh, uh, this is site construction video some important and useful points which i have discussed the front of you guys if you have any question about this video so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye